Yes lads, what is happening and welcome back to another video on the channel, Kian Marley here and as you lot can tell behind me, I'm going to Pride Park Stadium for Derby County versus West Brom, taking you guys along with me. I'm going to keep this short and sweet because we've got a few West Brom fans to come on, uh, we've got Alfie WBA FC TV, check him out, link in the description. We've also got West Brom Fan TV, uh, one of the lads over there did a preview for us, so cheers to them lads for doing it for me. Don't forget to check them out, there'll be a link in the description to their channels. So, obviously yesterday, today's wondering whether the uh, preview was live preview. Well I did it, and then it was exporting and two was exporting. So I deleted one of them, because obviously I didn't want two videos, and it ended up deleting both for some reason. It was really stupid, but um, yeah, it's just YouTube being dodgy. So sorry about that, uh, shouldn't be the case ever again hopefully touch wood um but yeah i'm gonna keep this short and sweet score prediction off the bat i'm gonna go two or three one uh to the rams obviously momentum form isn't really on our side and west brom uh, are a solid team away from home they've got the likes of charlie austin the finisher they've got flair in the middle with the likes of Pereira. Um, but we always do seem to get good results against west brom touch wood again so yeah i'm gonna go two or three one maybe three one at a push Goal scorers, I'd say Jack Marriott, um, if he does start, he's going to score. He's going to prove to Koki why he should be in the team. He wasn't in the team against Bristol because he was uh, only about 60%, Koki was saying. Um, but if he does start, even if it's 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, he will get a goal. We heard it here first. Uh, next goal scorer, maybe Tom Lawrence and Martin Wagon. I'd love to see Tom Lawrence play more central like he did against Huddersfield. If he plays in the central role and supporting Waghorn, he'll play much better than when he's out on the wing. Um, so yeah, let's go to Pride Park. If you guys do enjoy, once again, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, cheers for 5k, let me know what you guys want me to do. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's go to Pride Park. Up the Rams! Hello Keen's channel, I'm a West Brom vlogger and I will be vlogging the game tomorrow at Pride Park. My score prediction is actually a 2-0 West Brom win. I think we've got a lot of attacking force. If we can use it to create chances, we'll tear apart any defence in the league. I think Austin and Kravinovic are going to get our goals. And yeah, I'm a West Brom vlogger, so please subscribe to me, WBA, FC Alfie, and subscribe to Q. Alright guys, it's Connor from West Brom Fan TV. Um, before we start this, massive thank you to Kian for allowing me on the channel. Um, obviously, if you are new to his channel, make sure you subscribe to him. Brilliant YouTuber, so dedicated and passionate about Derby. Um, yeah, and let's get on to the game. Obviously, West Brom versus Derby, 12.30 kickoff on Saturday, so the early one, which will be on Sky Sports. Really looking forward to this one, obviously. Uh, we played your last game of the season, uh, last season, and it was a brilliant atmosphere. Um, it did help Derby get to the playoffs, which unfortunately they did lose. Um, but you know what? I feel like Derby did brilliantly last season under Frank Lampard. Um, some really good performances from Mason Mount and Tamori. Um, if you'd have asked me about this fixture last year, I would have been a lot more worried than I am now. Um, obviously, like I've just mentioned, I feel like losing Frank Lampard was a bit of a blow. Um, losing players like Mason Mount, also a bit of a blow. Um, but that being said, I still think it'll be a really tough game. Um, to be honest, I don't mind Derby. I feel like it's a, a good traditional club. Um, the fans were brilliant last time we, uh, we were there. And hopefully we can both be up there this season. Um, you know, whether it's via playoffs, automatic, which might be a bit out of reach. But um, you know what, I'm going to go with a 1-1 one, one draw. I'm going to say uh, Waghorn to get a goal for Derby County early on. Um, and I do feel like we'll get a goal from a set piece. Um, three players to watch out for for us. If we do get a corner, obviously, Semi J, absolute unit. Um, really good in the air. Um, I'm going to say Kravinovic as well. I feel like he's a really good player. Um, I could add a lot more players because, you know, I feel like we've added a lot of talented players in this squad this year um, a lot of players with a lot of flair you know like Mateus Pereira and stuff like that 
But another player who I feel like West uh, Derby should look out for is Charlie Austin. Obviously, good striker. If if he does get the chance, he will put it in the back of the net. My only concern was last game is um, he did seem to get tired very easily. So maybe his match fitness isn't all there. And on top of that, I feel like West Brom are a lot better away from home than we are at home. Um, we've won two out of our two away games, but we've played three games at home. One of them was in the Cup, but we haven't won one. Um, we drew 1-1 to Millwall, lost 2-1 to Millwall, and also drew 1-1 to Reading. So I do feel like this game um, will be tough, but I feel like we can get something. But thanks for having me on the channel and... Good luck to Derby for the rest of the season. Gonna put this cap to good use. And we are here at Pride Park. Uh, teams are out. Marriott's in, Belix in, Buchanan as well, youngster, graduate from the academy. Will be good to see him play. Can't wait to get in there now. About 15 minutes till kick off. Let's go. Up the ball. Cheers, me.
one note to the Rams. Um, Zahore at the end of this half, massive golden chance to equalise uh, for West Brom. A massive chance, but it was stopped by Calhoun's big save. Um, I think he was injured in the meantime, but yeah, solid save from him. Yeah, golden chance from, I think it was Zahore, the West Brom player, to equalise. Obviously, that second penalty appeal goes on, man. What's happening over there? It's good enough. Right. Go on, cheers. But yeah, it's currently 1-0. West Brom fans will probably feel that like justice was served uh, because why go miss a pen? I don't know. I, I think it did look accidental from the West Brom player. But hey, the line out gave it. Still currently 1-0. We need another goal in this half. I thought Jason Knight has been solid. We kind of... I don't know. He just, at the time, just looks a bit scared to run up the defence. Uh, obviously, that's expected because he is a young player. But... Yeah, 1-0 at the break. And here we go, the players are out for the second half. Got to keep up their momentum. Don't let these lot back into the game. What the round? Thanks for watching. Like,